Hey YouTube, this is Rubix33 and welcome to part 3 of our PhoneGap tutorial series. Well, sorry again, it's been a while, I've been really busy, but today we're going to do something really fun. We are going to be making a Compass phone app. So here I already have uh, jQuery Rotate. I will include this in the link, otherwise you can download it yourself. It's just a little jQuery library that allows us to rotate images because we'll be rotating our needle for the compass. Got the newest Cordova and then you guys can use any images that you want. I didn't include these images because they're actually not mine and I just lifted them off of Google and added transparencies and and edited them to the way I wanted them to be. So, And then this is our old template. You probably recognize this, a little, our old phone gap template. So we'll be killing the GUI because we don't really need anything there. Just be using the image or images that uh, we're using for the compass. So we gotta re first reference the jQuery rotate library, and we'll do j jQuery. So we got that, and then we're gonna just bring in our images. Do the compass, and then I'm gonna give it an ID because we're gonna be positioning them. Obviously, I've done this before because it, it brought it up. So images slash needle. There we go. Give it a. There we go. So now we'll have our compass and our needle, and then we need to position them so they look right. So I'm just gonna put this style tags up here, and we'll do compass. So if you guys are not super familiar with styling, this is the style tags, or you can do it in a CSS file. Then we would just do it just like this one right here, the link to where it is. Except this one's actually online versus local. And this is the hash symbols, obviously, for the ID compass. Period is used for classes. So compass, and we're going to do position, and we're going to make the position absolute. So it's not going nowhere. It's right where we're to find it. And then HTML, the grid works. Top left is zero zero. X increase is going to the right, and Y increase is going down. So keep that in mind if you're trying to make a video game and your character is jumping. You're actually subtracting from the Y. Otherwise, the guy looks like he's falling. So, and then what we're going to do is position it from the top. So how many pixels from the top? I'm just going to do zero. I'm going to do zero px, and from the left, zero px. And then we'll do a Z index of one. Uh, that's just, the Z index is just for layering things. We want the needle on top of the compass or inside of technically. And so we want the Z index of the needle to be greater than that of the compass. And I define it even though there might be a default value. It's always good to define it because then you know what it is. Um, you never know that they might change it and all of a sudden default values for all the HTML5 browsers to decide that the Z index should be 20 or something stupid. Who knows? So it's always good to define it. And then we'll do the needle, and we're going to position that the same, just the absolute. And then from the top, I had already played with it, so from the top I just did eight pixels the way I had my images, and then from the left I did 98 to get it in the center, and then just to do a Z index of 10, so it's on top, it's above it. So there we go. We can emulate that. If you guys have any questions, I'm going too quickly, feel free to comment and I will get back to you, maybe explain or highlight things that some of you may may be less familiar with than others. So here we go. We got the needle on top of the compass and well, obviously it's not going to move. So here in our emulator, they added the iPhone 5 by the way. I knew they would. Didn't take them very long actually. And you just go to geolocal, anyway. So we go to the geolocation and you they, you can do stuff with speed all kinds of stuff but here we'll just be playing with the heading tell you the degrees cardinal direction and you can play with that but it's not working so we're going to add the javascript to do that and we'll be using the jquery to do that so we're going to add our script tag and like just like before with anything when we're doing anything we're doing the what was it? The events, you know. Oh, the device is ready, or you press this button. Just like that, we want to wait till the device is ready always. So, document dot at event listener. So we're going to be listening for when the device is ready. 
And you can use all this code, a lot of this code is the exact same as if you're just doing a website, if you're doing normal web programming. The only thing here is like this is specific to PhoneGap, like device ready. But otherwise you can add event listeners for all kinds of stuff and make your own listeners for specific events that you define. So all of this code is useful not just for phone apps but also for web programming. So we're making your own little HTML5 games too. All right, so it's going to run device on device ready. So we'll make a function on device ready. And then when the device is ready, we want to start our compass up. So I'm going to just call it start compass. Now a lot of this code is on the PhoneGap documentation website, but if you're not familiar with PhoneGap or maybe all of JavaScript and HTML5, you may be confused because they have a lot of just code on there that is just completely useless and it gets really confusing so I, I've stripped it all out like they added another variable because that that allowed them to turn the compass on and off so like later on we we could make another one called stop compass so that's why I called that but we're not going to be messing with that today their code is very convoluted over there some of the examples are right but not all of them so alright we'll make our function start compass and then before we start the compass we want to define something we want to define and this is like just like in the code basically from the phone gap website is they do the same thing is the variable options and we're going to just define how often it's going to recheck the the heading so if you only checked it every five seconds well it's not going to be a very smooth looking needle you know in real life it constantly moves so and it, the phone gap they always put it at 3000 milliseconds which is three three seconds is super laggy I put it at 50 I don't think it's gonna lag out our computers or our phones too much doing that so and then we're gonna ref reference and just like pretty much everything else we reference any native API we do navigator dot and then we're doing compass we're doing the watch heading and then on success it'll pass the heading variable to the on success function and then our options so hopefully it works and then it'll, it'll run there and pass the heading if it doesn't work we'll get an error message and then options is we set some some of the options for that so we'll do our function on success we'll have the heading and you can call this whatever you want when you're passing variables and this is just like what you're gonna call whatever the person passes in so we're gonna call it heading and so now we're going to use jQuery. Okay. So normally we the way that we get the heading is we would do the heading dot magnetic heading. Okay. That's just that's how we get that. That's the heading. That's the number. That's it. That's the number. And then now we're going to be rotating the image based on the number. So with jQuery everything begins with the money symbol, and then parentheses, and then in quotes we'll be doing whatever the ID of the object of the element we're referencing. So that'll be the needle dot and then what we're doing to it will be rotating it. And how much are we going to rotate it? We we'll rotate the opposite of the heading that we're getting. Of the magnetic heading. The opposite so it'll we're doing the negative of it, we're subtracting it so then it, the needle actually constantly points north. So it'll it'll actually hopefully look real. And then, so that should work. We'll be good to go. And then we just need to make our little on error function. Hopefully that never fires. But as good programmers, we should. I do compass error. Compass error. And then yeah, we'll add a space. There. So if there's an error, it'll show us. But pretty simple. So we, when the vi well, device is ready, we'll be running our on device ready function, and then we're going to start our compass. Starting our compass, and then oh, define we want to check the where we're heading every 50 milliseconds. And then this is to start the compass. It'll it'll start watching the compass, and it'll send the heading to this function, and then we'll use the heading, the magnetic heading, to as the basis of how we're rotating our needle. All right, I'm going to do a control shift F and make it all look really pretty. 
and then here we go so now it'll work we'll test it out simulating oh and our needles not pointing north oh, look at that oh it's moving so logically let's say we're facing east north will be to our left so we're facing oh you know e90 there we go do east if we're facing east north would be that way so it works and that is how we can make a basic compass app right there so just to recap if I went too fast we did our styling we just did the IDs and we did the absolute position how far it is from the top how far it is from the left and then how it's stacked on top of other images and then waited for the device to be ready started our compass to find the options for the compass and then this starts the compass and then passes the heading to the to the unsuccess function and then this is the actual heading the magnetic heading and then this is our little jQuery rotating our image and then this is just our error message so that's how we can do that I, I will include the code also include the finished code so you guys can follow along um, as as well as if you guys have issues if you forgot a comma and you can't find it or whatever you can at least get the code to work and play with it from there so you definitely and then you'll have to get your own images um, just find a needle uh, any needle even if it's you know I did I think this needle I don't know how big it is I know that the compass is like 225 by 225 so, so just an image about that size would work just fine and just play with it and you'll get it so there you go we got a compass app so now if you wanted to build that we can go to the our phone gap website so we'll go to build.phonegap.com we'll get a sign in it's super easy to register if you don't have an account and you can actually sign in with github um, if you have a github account if you don't know what github is it's a place where you can put open source code for other people to download and people to fork Forking is basically they copy the code and then your repository copy your code and kind of do with, they evolve it themselves they change it they they go their own direction with it and so here's the here's the compass app on my on here and it's got the jQuery rotate it's got the license Cordova index and the template so you can just start with the template and work from scratch and follow the video or you can do this obviously if you know to watch the video it might be a little bit too late but so there you go and then we can build it uh, this one I don't know if I've rebuilt this one I'll just rebuild all this one I'll just rebuild this one otherwise what you do is if you get a I think you have one you can do that's a public and then you just upload a zip file otherwise like I said they changed it where you reference to well, here I'll even do it I'll just do like new app and then you just copy since I have my github connected to this I just click on here and it'll get the repository for it Actually, yeah, I have one private app where you can upload a zip file. Would it let me? Yep. So you can just do that. Otherwise, you can do open source and then you just do it from GitHub. So I'm rebuilding this all. So, because I had updated my my GitHub thing. So now you guys can take this with your phones um, and test it. I've never really did, done any much testing on the Windows phones, but Android it should work just fine. And iOS it obviously won't work because I don't have a license for it. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to put it below. I know this was I like going kind of quick. I like getting it done. I don't like blabbering on too much. So if you have questions, comments, uh, you know, want to learn more about styling as someone had suggested, or anything else just let me know I'll be sure to upload a video hopefully not in a month but a little bit sooner so alright later YouTube